How's it going everyone? Welcome back once again to Forza Horizon 5. As you may know, today we received a huge update for Forza Horizon 5, including a bunch of new cars, new features, new fixes, just tons of stuff. I've already done a video today showing you all of the new cars, including the Ferrari J50, the FXXK Evo, the Hurricane Evo, Gallardo Performante, tons of new Lamborghinis, Ferraris, all sorts. If you want to know all of the new cars in this update, check out my other video. However, this video we're going to cover all of the fixes, all of the updates, all of the new features and stuff like that from start to finish so so once again this update is out right now december the 3rd you can download it now you can see all of the new cars and you can experience all of the new fixes and updates and stuff like that if this video does help you out guys please do consider subscribing to the channel we do stuff like this all the time let's get into what this foot horizon 5 update contains now first of all i do have to say that this update does not address all of the issues the game had there are still a few issues left they worked on what they called most of the stuff is fixed but it's not everything just so i'd note that let's talk about the horizon convoys if you've ever been in a convoy on horizon 5 with your mates you'll know it's a bit buggy you know you sometimes load out you sometimes load in it doesn't load it's just very buggy playing online with your mates in this update they have massively improved the convoys so whether it's fixed completely or not we don't know just yet however they have made huge improvements to how smooth the convoys are online for forza horizon 5. horizon arcade has also been tweaked as well you may know horizon arcade also had its issues with not being able to load in the score being too difficult players not loading in not being enough people well, they have fixed a lot of the Horizon Arcade issues as well as scaling the actual requirements within the Horizon Arcade. For example, if there's only two players in a Horizon Arcade, it will scale down the target requirements to complete the Horizon Arcade, making it possible with the least amount of players. It goes the other way. If there's more players, it'll make it a bit harder. Do you know what I mean? They have also increased the starting time of the Horizon Arcade from five minutes to 10 minutes. So you've got longer to sort of get ready and gather players. And they've also done a few little other fixes like some ramps not appearing within some of the Horizon Arcade um, target jump mini games and a few additions like adding unique icons to each different Horizon Arcade on the map. Very cool to see. So Horizon Arcade has had a bunch of fixes and a bunch of additions. Horizon Open has also been tweaked a bit as well. Horizon Open has been made much smoother. There will be much less issues with matchmaking into a Horizon Open session with your mates. And they've done a few quality of life sort of miscellaneous fixes such as removing the goliath from the race pool just to make waiting times a bit shorter they have removed s2 cross country races and a few other additions like street races are now um, at night time everything i'm talking about i'm going to leave the paragraph of on screen if you want to really dig deep into it i'm just sort of highlighting the best points and the things you'll want to probably know the most exploits and glitches they have fixed a bunch more exploits and glitches for example rival leaderboards now won't have so many stupidly impossible times on there apparently you used to be able to create your own races in event lab and beat the uh, the rival times something like that that's been fixed rival leaderboards are going to be much more legitimate now and you also cannot post times onto leaderboards when you have changed your game speed there's actually a setting within forza horizon 5 to sort of alter your game speed you can't do that to go on the leaderboards anymore it's no longer possible that was an exploit now for some updates and fixes which are related to certain cars the porsche 918 spider and the willys jeep from 1945 are now convertibles i mean they were convertibles anyway but they have actually added the convertible feature so you can put the roof up and down when you're driving around in free row now along with the 918 spider being made a convertible they have actually tweaked and updated the porsche 918 spider car sound as that was one of the sort of the weak ones one of the sounds that people weren't happy with they have now changed that hopefully that sounds much better now there's been a few other fixes which are related to certain cars for example the 2018 bmw m5 now has the correct color for the front left brake caliper very specific the mercury cyclone spoiler the stock brakes cannot be painted that has been fixed they have fixed the delorean logo appearing in the car collection screen on some pcs for some people that actually came up with citroen now it says delorean like it should they have reduced the transmission audio on stock cars now transmission audio is a big thing in horizon 5 when you tune it it really gives the gearbox whine a sound 
However, with stock cars, that's been reduced a little bit because if it's stock, you're not supposed to really be able to hear the transmission that much. And the Infinity Car Collection now awards the Stonks Forza Link phrase. I'm presuming this is something that was attended at launch but didn't work properly. That's been fixed. A bunch of accolades have been fixed as well. I'm going to read through them now. They have fixed some of the El Camino story accolades not working. They have fixed the Raised in a Desert accolade for not requiring people to be in the car that they should actually be in. They have fixed the Unlimited Power accolade to saying that someone should be in an unlimited off-road when actually they're supposed to be in an extreme off-road. They have fixed the Ready, Set, Go accolade from unlocking if players actually lost the race. They have fixed a few accolades which didn't appear when you pin them. They should have been pinned, but they didn't appear. They fixed an issue where the Monster Destroyer Showcase event accolade would not complete if you have to restart it before winning it. That's now fixed. They have corrected the number of air skills which are needed to do the air in a G-Wagon accolade. The unbeatable dirt racing accolade has now been fixed to show the correct amount. They have fixed the money to burn accolade, directing people to the wrong drift zone. It now corrects you to the right drift zone. And they have updated the don't break it, there isn't many left accolade to inform the player of the danger sign that they need to complete. Just if you're having any issues with any accolades, chances are they may be within these list of accolades that have been fixed. So Event Lab has had a few fixes as well. Let's go through them. The props when you're placing them will now actually show themselves in the right colour before you place them down. That was a very weird glitch. It wouldn't actually show the colour of the prop until you placed it down. That's now been fixed. I'm going to continue reading through all of them, but you can see on screen what the fixes are. If you've had any issues in Event Lab, they are very likely to be fixed. There might be some which aren't fixed, as I said, but if they're on the screen right now, those have been fixed. Now Festival Playlist has had a really annoying bug fixed as well. If you've ever been doing some of these seasonal PR stunts where you need to get like a certain amount of meters or miles per hour in a certain car, you may have come across the issue where it kept saying one meter left, one meter left, one mile an hour per left, one miles per hour left or whatever. That has now been fixed. That was a very annoying glitch which I came across myself. And there are a bunch more miscellaneous PC related fixes, just general fixes of bugs that were happening in Forza Horizon 5. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them all on screen right now in text form so you can read it yourself and sort of pause or watch through it. I'm going to leave them on screen for about 30 seconds to a minute if you want to read through all of the remaining fixes which are in the game in this update. See if any of them you had an issue with, see if they're fixed. So this is a bunch more fixes in the game now. That is everything for this update, guys. This update is absolutely massive. They have covered so much when it comes to glitches, bugs, you know, just issues with the game which are now fixed. I'm very looking forward to actually playing the game in a minute and seeing how it plays. And I'm also very interested to see the new cars as well. If you want to see all the new cars, as I said, watch my previous video. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section below what sort of feature or fix you're most excited about. And uh, yeah, let's see where this game takes us. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, if you want to subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content. 